Hey guys, Amos here and today we'll be learning how to do Billie Jean on the ukulele with some kind of percussion going on. Okay, so I'll begin playing it once through first. Okay, it sounds a bit like this. Okay, so we'll start off with the melody line with your left hand and we'll be doing some tapping on the last two strings. Okay, so we'll just be using this last two strings and it's all in the second fret or as an open string. Okay, so it's all second fret or you pluck it. Okay, so we start off with your middle finger, you tap the last string on the second fret. You gotta tap it quite hard so that the note's clear. Okay. And then from there you tap the third string second fret. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay now from here right you move your middle finger downwards as you pluck the last string. Okay. You just pluck the open string. Sounds like this. And then you pluck it. And from here, you hammer on the last string. Uh second fret. Okay. So from the top it's like this. Okay, moving on. From here, right, you pluck the last string again. Open string. From the start is this. Pluck it. Okay. And then, you move up to the third string. Second fret. Tap it. Pluck it. Tap it. Okay. Okay, so from the beginning, right, just like this. Okay. Okay, so while you're doing this, right, your other hand is free. So, what I do to get that kind of bass is I hit the string towards the end, near the bridge around this area and I kind of flick it I just flick it like this okay and then for the other beat I flick it at this area so it's like this okay so for this For this melody line, right, there'll be four beats. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is the really, really tricky part, playing it together. Okay, so it's good to tap your feet as you go. So you, so you kind of have the beat as you practice. So one, two, three. So as, as you flick, as you flick the strings, right, you're kind of playing it also. So I flick the last string, only the last string. Okay, one more tip, right, is that when you're practicing this, you have to do it all together. You can't like practice this hand first, then you move on to the beat and then you combine. This is going to take a very very long time. It's much faster if you do it together very very slowly but together and just keep doing it. 
Okay? It sounds much better when you kind of amplify it. Okay, so the next part of the song is this. Okay, how you do this, right? I'll show you what I'm doing with the left hand first. Okay, with the left hand, right, it's something like the first melody line. Okay, the first three notes are the same. With your middle finger, last string, second fret, tap, and then third string, second fret, and then you pluck the last string. Okay. And now, you tap the last string at the fourth fret. Okay. Yep. And then you pluck the last string. And then you move up to the third string, second fret. Tap, pluck, tap. Okay. Okay, and then the next part, you go, okay, sorry, okay, the next part, you start off with the last string and the fifth fret, and then third string, second fret, okay, second fret, and then you pluck the open last string okay so fifth fret at the first string and then third string second fret and you pluck the last string okay you can use your middle finger or your ring finger but yeah and then from there you hammer on the last string at the 4th fret. Sorry. And then you end off, block the last string, and then 3rd uh, string, 2nd uh, fret. Hammer, block, hammer. Fourth, pluck, hammer, pluck, hammer on. Okay. Okay. So for the second part of this, all together it sounds like this. Okay, I'll do it slower. Okay, so again, on your right hand, you kind of do the same beat pattern. Okay. Okay, so one, two, So it takes a lot, a lot of practice to get this right, and yeah, that's basically it. So good luck practicing, and thanks for watching.